July 4th festivities in Texas. The White Sox and the Rangers meeting for the first time on Independence Day since 1976. Chicago looking to take two of three against the Rangers. Top of the second game tied at zero. Mark Katze doubles to right. Carlos Quinton comes around to score all the way from first. The White Sox take the early lead. Chicago up one to nothing. Moving to the top of the third, same score. Omar Vizquel gets hit in the left knee. Scott Feldman hits him hard. That one looked like it was painful for Vizquel. He'd have to leave the game. He'd be replaced by Diane Viciedo. Moving to the top of the fourth, the game still won nothing. A.J. Perzinski hits a pop fly over first base. Great catch over his head for Justin Smoke. Then flips it to Feldman to get the double play. Moving to the bottom of the fourth, same score. Josh Hamilton goes yard. Over the right field ball, 20th home run of the year for Hamilton. Texas up 2-1. to one. Next inning, score now tied at two. Julio Borbone goes yard himself. Solo shot for Borbone, his third of the season. The Rangers now with the lead, 3-2. to two. Moving to the top of the sixth, a runner on for Carlos Quinton. Inside outs it. Stay fair. It will. Thank you very much. So they're just going to trade places right here, and this game is tied at three on a double by Carlos Quinton. Later in the inning, it's Alexei Ramirez's turn. That ball hit deep. Stretch. Hamilton goes back, looks up. You can put it on the ball. Yes. Yes. Bottom of the ninth, score still five to three. First time All Star Matt Thornton in for the save. Strikes out Nelson Cruz looking, and that will do it. White Sox take this one five to three. Mark Burley now four and one in his last five starts as he gets another victory. And Chicago wins a series in Texas for the first time since 2006.